What's up, the generation? Welcome to Stump the Stuck, the trivia show where you can win my money. I'm Stucky, and joining me today for a head-to-head -head NBA battle is Mr. Matthew Friedman, and the defending champ, I should say, Matthew Friedman, and Justin Fan. They'll be going head-to-head -head in NBA, so clearly Fan is a favorite here. If he does move on, he'll come back Wednesday to face one of our NBA contributors this time, and then wins again Friday. You win three times in a row, you'll face me for my money. But even if you don't win, points are important because at the end we're going to have a you know maybe a mini tournament with the people who have the most amount of points um, at the end. So Freeman, even if you're getting blown out, picking up a couple points here or there can still matter. Um, do you yeah, do you, do you think you have any shot at all? Or are you just going to go in here and throw darts? No. Even if I were a uh, you know like a, a plus one thousand underdog, that would still be too generous. I don't see any way in which I come out of this a victor. I really think the over under of number of correct uh, answers I get is 0.5. And I would still take the under. Here we go. Sandbagging again. And so it begins. All right. So for those of you that don't know how it works, uh, there's three rounds. There's 10 total questions. The first round, each person gets three questions progressing in difficulty. The first one worth one point, second two, third three. If you don't know the answer, or you get it incorrect, or don't you know, don't say anything, then the other person actually has a chance to steal. The second round, which is many people's favorite, it's the over under three questions, one with one, two, and three. I'll say you know something like how many yards did Tom Brady throw for last year? You guys are going to write down your answers, reveal them. One that's closest gets the points for that question. And the final round is a back and forth, like how name Olympic winter sports. You would go back and forth until one of you either doesn't know it um or repeats or comes up with an incorrect answer um so let's go ahead and get started here i'm going to pull up our theme music we're going to get started here with question one and that is for well actually we have to decide who goes first freeman you are the defending champ so uh you can decide whether you want to go first or second uh, I'll go first. All right. Uh, let's start it off here for question one worth one point for Mr. Friedman. The Warriors, the Golden State Warriors have won three titles since 2010. Kevin Durant won finals MVP for two of them. Who won the other finals MVP? Andre Iguodala. That is correct. So Freeman comes out once again. Hit the over. Shocker, the over hits. Shocker. Uh, and starts with a one nothing lead. Um, now we'll move on to question one for Fan. The only Houston Rocket to ever win NBA Finals MVP is? Um, hmm. Hakeem Olajuwon. That is correct. So as expected, we are 1-1. One, one. Supposed to have some two easy questions to start off. I would say 1-1 one, one is not as expected. Let's just be honest. In the, in the general aspect of the game, we're supposed to start out easy and then get more difficult. So we're going to move on to question two here. I don't. I actually don't know if this would be a fan specialty. Uh, but we'll see. We're going to start with Freeman here. Question three. Question two for Freeman worth two points. Which college did Sean Marion attend twenty seconds on the clock. Uh UCLA. That is incorrect. Mr. Fan will give you a chance to steal it here for two points. UNLV. That is correct. Oh. Mr. Fan pulls that out. Did you? There was a, it was actually a two part. You could, two answers would have been correct. He went to a community college in 96 at the Will, Wallace or Will, I forget, but then he went to UNLV. Fan, were you confident in that or was it a pull educated guess? Educated guess. I, I had an idea that was just the uh, top of my list. I remember him going top 10 in that draft um, in, in 99. So, 
Yeah, Devastating just, blow for Freeman, who's a heavy underdog. Fran gets a, a steal on an educated guess. Um, all right, so we'll move on to question four. Uh, this is worth two points for Fan. Uh, which college, we we'll go back to the college question, did Joe Johnson attend? Similar error. I know this. Um, 10 seconds. I think it's uh, Arkansas. That is correct. Local kid. He was born in Little Rock, I think. Yep. Went, uh, played high school in Little Rock, went to Arkansas. Freeman, just out of curiosity, would you have been able to pull that? No. Okay. No. Well, maybe you never know. You never know someone's random no. trivia knowledge. All right. It's 5 1 fan moving into. Question number five, the third for Freeman. Uh, you have a shot, uh, I think, to at least say a name here. Uh, name the all-time NBA steals leader. Ricky Henderson. That was a joke. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Michael Jordan? I don't fucking know. That is incorrect although he is uh in the top 10 um is the fan for the steal this is total career right total career all right so this guy leads it in assists and steals john stockton that is correct you know i hate to say this that's the guy i thought but i couldn't remember his name oh well um all right well we'll, we'll give you uh some i don't know just, sympathy. Uh, Give me sympathy. That's that's what I golf want. Clap for remembering that it was. Marshall you just remembered Clark. it was the Jazz Guard. Yes, I remembered it was the Jazz Guard, but I couldn't remember his name. My favorite member of that top ten list is Hakeem Olajuwon, who is number nine. Um, LeBron should get that in there soon, though. Um, all right, let's move on to. It's now eight to one fan leads. This is for another three points. Um, there's only six players in NBA history that have scored 60 points more than once. Five of them are Kobe, Jordan, Baylor, Harden, and Wilt. Who is the sixth? Can you, sorry, can you repeat the question one more time? Absolutely. Only six players in NBA history have scored 60 plus points more than once, have done it multiple times in a single game. You have Kobe, Jordan, Jordan, Elgin Baylor, Baylor, James Harden, Harden, Wilt Chamberlain. Well, those are the five. Who is the sixth? I think it. I'm gonna guess Damian Lillard. That is correct. That is a great pull on a uh, very difficult question, maybe for some, but obviously not for fan. All right, the score is eleven to one. Headed into the over under round, which, if you get all three right, one, two, and three is six points. Freeman, that brings you to 11 to seven. And then the last round is worth five points. So you could technically still win 12 to 11 if you sweep the board. Tall task. But, uh, uh, and I, 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 unfortunately, I can't ask you about Keyshawn Vaughn for one of the questions since it is an NBA themed show. Um, all right. So let's move on. To the second round, the over-under round. Uh, you're going to write your answers down. I'll give you 10 seconds, uh, and then we'll do the reveal. First question worth one point. How many finals games? Very relevant question. How many finals games did Michael Jordan play in his career? Total finals games. Five seconds. All right, we'll do the reveal in three, two, one. 31 to seven fan, I think misunderstood the question. Oh, I thought you meant final series. No, finals games, which oh, would have been 35. Oh, Freeman, wow. you get a point. Um, apologies for any miscommunication. We have finals games. I believe he went six in every final series except for one where they went they went five um so that freeman you get a point another point you're on the board 11 to 2 which keeps your hopes alive for a stunning 12 to 2 comeback um 12 to 11 comeback excuse me 
All right, so let's move on to question two in the over-under round. What is LeBron James's career three-point percentage rate? LeBron James career three-point percentage rate. All right, ready for the reveal in three, two, one. Correct answer is 34.4%. Fan gets within a percentage point, um, and that gives him two points to take a 13-2 to two lead and lock up the victory with two questions to go. Again, points still matter. Freeman has a victory under his belt in the last round, so we'll move on to the final over-under question. Similar question. What is Dennis Rodman's career free throw percentage rate? Dennis Rodman's career free throw percentage rate. What did he shoot from the line? All right, answers locked and loaded. We'll do the reveal in three, two, one. The correct answer is 58.4%. Fan within a 1.6%. Freeman uh, has sub 50. So that goes to <laughs> Fan, who is just running away with this. Uh, it's now 16 to 2. Um, we're going to go to the final round, which is worth five points. Um, we will not need a tiebreaker today, suffice to say. Um, but let's get right into the hybrid. Uh, you have the lead fan, so you're going to start here. Really, I think one of the easier final questions we have, but it's really relevant, and I know Freeman in the NBA. Give him a shot here to get some. Name the 12 players on the 1992 Dream Team roster. Um, and you can write down, if you'd like, what has been said so you can keep track. Uh, fan, go ahead, and you can start us off. MJ. That is correct. Mr. Freeman. Christian Leitner. <laughs> that is correct. Nailed it. <laughs> Magic. Magic is correct. Mr. Freeman. Bird. Larry Bird is correct. Carl Malone. Carl Malone is correct. Mr. Friedman. John Stockton. There you go. The name that Should now you remember. That is correct. The Houston Texans of uh, this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go uh, Sir, Sir, Sir Charles Barkley. Sir Charles Barkley is correct. He was actually the leading scorer uh, yep. average-wise on that team. Mr. Freeman. Pippen? Pippen is correct. Down to four remaining. Uh, Clyde Drexler. Clyde the Glide, that is correct. There's three remaining, Freeman. You've you've showed well here. Uh, Kemp. That is incorrect. Do you want to <laughs> you want to try to do the three remaining, fan? Yeah, uh, David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, and Chris Mullen. That is correct. Uh, that is a final score of twenty-one to two, and one one win. Uh, fan now has the most points of anyone on the show. He will be back. I thought you did well, Freeman. We knew that you probably weren't going to win. Um, but, you know, you, you had – I think you showed a little more fight than I thought. Um, and maybe you even thought. So, Fan gets the victory 21-2. to two. It's an NBA-themed week. He's one win to three to face me for my money. And it would be an NBA trivia show, unfortunately for me. But it's whoever – whatever week that is. Wednesday, we'll have him face one of our NBA contributors. Same with Friday. So, it should be a much more – competitive match but very impressive showing fan thanks for joining me gentlemen thanks everyone for watching we'll catch you wednesday night at 8 30 eastern cheers